So we were disconnected for a while. So now uh, I have increased the time so that uh, we'll finish off all these numericals. So from now onwards, we'll get uh, thirty-five, thirty-seven minutes. Okay. So it will be good time. So I hope uh, we have finished off this. So. speed at uh, full load torque and speed at maximum torque so from uh, the previous two uh, equations of this uh, ratios tst tm and tfl upon tm from these two ratios we have found out the values of sm and sf and uh, uh, after finding these values now you substitute these values in uh, this equation of n is equal to ns into 1 minus sf and um, after substituting this substitute the value of ns and sf you will get the value of n as 1392.5 rpm so it is revolutions per minute okay so speed at tm tm uh, for that purpose will require sm value so n at tm is equal to ns into bracket 1 minus sm so that is equal to 1500 into bracket 1 minus 0.268 so after solving this we will get the value of n as 1098 rpm so this is the value of uh, speed okay now uh, let us find uh, the next next numerical so this is the numerical uh 746 kilowatt three phase 50 hertz 16 pole induction motor has rotor impedance of 0.02 plus j 0.15 ohm at stand still so from this we can uh, say that the given data this 746 kilowatt motor so this is the wattage of the motor given to you but it's of no use uh, it will not require uh, it is not required for uh, any calculation so sometimes they are providing you some um, unnecessary data which may not be uh, required okay so that you have to keep in mind so frequency f is given as 50 hertz capital p uh, it is given as 16 pole so p is 16 then uh, from this impedance uh, rotor impedance is given so z2 is given means r2 and x2 you can write from this so r2 is given as uh, 0.02 and x2 is given as 0.15 ohm and uh, full load torque is obtained at 360 rpm so full load torque is obtained at this particular speed so this speed is given as n fl so full load speed is given to you as 360 rpm now you have to calculate the ratio of maximum torque to full load torque and the speed at which maximum torque is obtained so that is tm upon tfl and the speed um nm you uh, you can say so speed at which maximum torque is obtained so these are the uh, now onwards all these questions are from the your previous university papers okay so this is the um, question asked in may uh, 2006 exam and for six marks and this is the answer uh, so from this uh, we will first uh, write down the given data so from given data f is 50 hertz p is 16 r2 is 0.02 x2 is 0.15 and nfl is 360 rpm now we want to calculate tm upon tfl and nm so for calculating these we require these basic three things ns sm and sf so ns it is given as 120 f by p 
So 120 into 50 upon 16, it is coming out as 375 RPM. Now, from NS, we can uh, calculate uh, NS and NFL is given to you. So from that, you can calculate SF. So SF is equal to NS minus NFL upon NS. So NS is 365, NFL is uh, 360, and NS is again 375. So from this, we can calculate the value of SF as 0 0.04. Whereas SM you can calculate by using the formula SM is equal to uh, R2 upon X2. So R2 and X2, both the values are known to you. It is 0 0.02 and 0 0.15. So take a ratio of this R2 and X2 to get the value of SM as 0 0.133. Okay. So we got the values of SM, SF and NS also. But uh, SM and uh, SF, they are uh, required for uh, calculation of this. TM upon TFL. So that is equal to SM square plus SF square divided by 2 SF SM. So you substitute the value of SM and SF in this. So that is 0 0.133 square plus 0 0.04 square divided by 2 into 0 0.133 into 0 0.04. So this will result you 1.8128. So as it is a ratio of torque, it is having no unit. Okay, and second quantity asked is Nm. That is the speed at which maximum torque is occurring. So Nm is equal to Ns into bracket 1 minus Sm. So substitute the value of Sm and Ns. So you will get the value of Nm, which is equal to 375 into bracket 1 minus 0 0.133. So which is resulting the value as 325.1 and it is the value of maximum speed or uh, uh, it is the speed at which maximum torque is occurring. Okay. So uh, that value is 325.1 and as it is a speed, its unit is RP. Okay. So now next numerical, a four pole, three phase, 50 hertz induction motor has a rotor resistance and reactance per phase are 0 0.01 ohm and 0 0.1 ohm respectively. Rotor inductance EMF at standstill per phase is 57.75 ohm uh, volt. If maximum torque is twice that of the full load torque, then find full load speed of the motor. So this is also a question from uh, our university paper, SPPU December 2007 uh, for six marks. And these are the answers, SFL or SF, and uh, this is the uh, uh, find full load speed of the motor. So this is NFL. Okay. So now given quantities, P capital P is four. Then uh, F F is fifty hertz. Then uh, rotor resistance is given. So that is R two as 0 0.01, X2 as 0 0.1, then at standstill, uh, rotor induced EMF is given. So that means E2 per phase is given. So E2 per phase, so E2 pH, it is equal to 57.75. And it is given as if maximum torque is twice that the full load torque. So Tm is equal to twice Fm. Now, so that means you can say Tm upon TFL is equal to 2 or TFL upon Tm is equal to 1 by 2. So this is one ratio is given to you in short. Okay. So to find SF and NFL, we require to find first NS and then SM. And from these, we'll be able to calculate these values. So NS is given as 120F by P. So 120 into 50 divided by 4 that is equal to 1500 RPM and SM is equal to R2 upon X2. That is equal to 0 0.01 upon 0.1. That is equal to 0.1. Okay. Now, next is you uh, need to write this expression TFL upon TM 
is equal to 2 sf sm upon sm square plus sf square right and this ratio is given to you as tm upon tfl is equal to 2 or tfl upon tm is equal to 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 is equal to 2 into sf into sm value is known to you it is 0.1 and sf square plus 0.1 square that is sm square so from this you will get a uh, quadratic of sf so that is sf square plus 0.01 and equal to 0.4 sf so that is sf square minus 0.4 sf plus 0.01 is equal to 0 so this quadratic is there so from this you will get two values of sf and these two values uh, you can calculate it using the formula minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where a is the coefficient of sf square b is the coefficient of sf and c is the constant term okay so um, i got two values of sf as 0.373 and 0.0267 okay so uh, always we are neglecting the higher values of uh, um, sleep so we'll uh, neglect this higher value as 0.373 We'll neglect this value and we'll assume that the value of SF is 0.0267. Okay, so neglecting the higher value, uh, SF value, we have assumed it as 0.0267. So that is, if we want to express it in the uh, form of percent, then we have to multiply it by 100. So this SF in percentage will be multiplied by 100, so it will be 2.67. so percentage as sir is equal to 2.67% now if we want to find n full load or full load speed that is given as ns into bracket 1 minus sf so ns is 1500 and sf is 0.0267 so substitute the values and you will get the value of nfl as 1459.95 rpm so we got both the values so now next numerical a three phase 2500 volt a uh, 20 pole 50 hertz induction motor runs at 296 rpm on full load its rotor resistance per phase is given as 0.02 ohm and standstill rotor uh, leakage reactance per phase is 0.3 ohm calculate the ratio of Full load torque to maximum torque. So this was the question on from SPPU, our university examination, May 2011, and this is the answer. So we'll write first the given data: a three-phase 2500 volt uh, induction motor. So 2500 volt means what is given? It is E1 line is given to you. So E1 line is 2500 volt. P is equal to 20. F is equal to 50, and and on full load it runs at this speed. So N F L N suffix F L is 296. Its rotor resistance per phase is this. That is R2 is given as 0.02 ohm, and uh, reactance is given as 0.3 ohm. That is X2. So X2 is 0.3 ohm, and we need to calculate the ratio of full load torque to maximum torque. So TFL upon TM. So, in order to calculate TFL and TM, we require. So, after writing this uh, given data, uh, we need to find this. So, for that purpose, first we require NS, SM, and SF. So, blindly you have to calculate first the value of NS. And NS is given as 120 F by P. F is given to you 50 hertz, and P is given to you as 20. So, from this. you can calculate the value of ns as 300 rpm then sm r2 and uh, f uh, x2 are given to you so from this you can calculate sm sm is equal to r2 upon x2 so that is equal to 0.02 upon 0.3 so that is equal to 0.0667 okay so after calculating this sm we need to find sf so sf is given as ns minus nfl upon ns nfl is given to you as 296 
and NS we have calculated it as 300. So substitute these values, you will get NS as 300 and NFL as 296. So after substituting these values, we will get the value of SF as 0 0.0133. So this is the value of SF. Now we want to find the ratio of TFL upon TM and the ratio of TFL upon TM, it is given by 2 SF SM upon SF square plus SM square. We know now both the values of SF and SM substitute it. So 2 into 0 0.0133 into 0 0.0667 divided by 0 0.0133 square plus 0 0.0667 square. So after simplifying this, we'll get this ratio of TFL upon TM as 0.3845. And as it is a ratio of two torques, there is no unit for this particular answer. Okay. So only one quantity was asked. So we have calculated that. Now, this is a, uh, even though the problem length is more, uh, will require a very small amount of time to solve this. Okay. So, uh, this is again a problem from your university examination, SPPU, December 2012 uh, examination for 8 marks. So, this is a problem given. Puna disconnect Galiga meeting. What? No, Avi, is it okay? Are you able to see the screen? Yes. yes, sir. Okay, fine. So let us continue. Uh, a four pole, three phase, fifty hertz induction motor has a full load slip of 5%. So, the given data, first of all, we'll write down the given data from this. So, P is equal to 4, 4 pole. So, P is equal to 4 uh, is given. Then, uh, 50 hertz. So, F is equal to 50 hertz is given and full load slip of 5%. So, SF is given as, uh, percentage SF is given as 5%. So, SF value is given as 0 0.05. Okay. And rotor has uh, re per phase resistance of 0.3. So, that means R2 is given as 0.3 ohm and per phase reactance of 1.2 ohm. So, that means X2 is given as 1.2 ohm. Find for the given motor uh, working First, ratio of maximum torque to full load torque. So, we want to find this ratio of TM upon TFL. Then, ratio of starting torque to maximum torque. So, TST upon TM we want to find. Then, next is speed at which maximum torque occurs. So, that means NM we want to find. And then, we want to find additional resistance requires in the rotor circuit so that at start motor will offer maximum torque. Okay. So what is asked? Uh, we want to find the additional resistance, external resistance. So this is the slip ring uh, type of motor. Okay. Uh, or wound rotor type of motor. So we can add or insert external resistance in that. So, R2 is given to you, along with this R2, if we add some external resistance, REXT, then it will become R2 plus REXT, that is R dash. Now, what is the condition given to you? Condition is, uh, so that at start motor will offer maximum torque, that means TM is equal to TST. And to achieve this condition, we know that at that particular point, that R2 dash, that should be equal to X2. So that means R2 plus REXT is equal to XT, um, X2, right? 
So from this, rearrange the equation and we'll get R E X T is equal to X two minus R two, and from that we can uh, find the value of additional resistance required. Okay, so these are the answers of all these. Now let us write down the given data first, and then from that we'll try to tackle the problem. Okay, so given data P is equal to four. F is equal to 50, SF is equal to 0.05, R2 is 0.3, and X2 is 1.2. Now, to find all these, we'll require NS and SM. So NS we can find it from 120 F by P. So substitute the value of F and P. So 120 into 50 divided by 4 is equal to 1500 RPM. That is the value of NS. And SM is R2 upon X2. Both are given 0.3 and 1.2. So from this we'll get value of SM as 0.25. Now first quantity asks is TM upon TFN, so which is equal to SM square plus SF square divided by 2 SF SM. Okay, substitute the values of SM, SF, and uh, you'll get the this ratio. So SM value is we have calculated it as 0.25, and SF value is given as 5 percent, that is 0.05. Okay. Substituting these values, we'll get uh, 0.25 square plus 0.05 square divided by 2 into 0.25 into 0.05, which is giving you as uh, 2.6. And as it is the ratio of two torques, it will have two unit. So first answer we have calculated. Now for second, TST upon TM. So which is given as 2 SM upon 1 plus SM square. Substitute the value of SM over here, so you will get 2 into 0.25 divided by 1 plus 0.25 square, so which is equal to 0.47. Now again, it is a ratio of torque, so there is no unit for this. Now next quantity asked is the NM, that is speed at which maximum torque is occurring. So for that purpose, we know this uh, relation NM is equal to NS into bracket 1 minus SM. SM value you know it's 0.25 and NS you know as 1500. Substitute these values, you will get 1500 into 1 minus 0.25, which is equal to 1125 or 1125 RPM. It is the value of speed at uh, which maximum torque occurs. And as it is a speed, its unit should be RPM, revolutions per minute. And for This TM is equal to TST. That is the condition given to you. That is maximum torque should be at start. So if this is the condition, let us say R2 dash is the total resistance. So for this condition, we know that if R2 dash is equal to X2 is there, then only this condition is satisfied. So it is the condition for TM is equal to TST. And R2 dash is nothing but R2 plus R EXT. That is the external resistance which is added in R2. So from this, this R2 you take on that side. So we'll get the value of R EXT external resistance. It is equal to X2 minus R2. Substitute the values of X2 and R2 which are already known to you. It is 1.2 minus 0.3. It is equal to 0.9. So this is the amount of external resistance need to be added in this rotor resistance R2, so that R2 plus R EXT will become equal to X2, and this is the condition for the maximum torque at start. Okay, so we we'll tackle this problem, and last problem from this uh, we'll solve it as this. Uh, a 50 hertz eight pole three phase induction motor is uh, given to you, and uh, has a full load slip of four percent. The rotor resistance is this, at and standstill reactance is this. Find the ratio of maximum torque to full load torque and. The speed at which maximum torque occurs. So this is also SPPU question of May two thousand fourteen for six marks. So from this you write first the given data. Uh, given data is 
एफ इज फिफ्टी हर्ट्स पी इज एट एंड एफ एल फुल लोड स्लिप सो एस एफ इट इज गिवन यू एज फोर परसेंट सो पॉइंट जीरो फोर इज एस एफ वैल्यू एंड देन आर टू इज गिवन टू यू एज पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन ओम पर फेज एंड एक्स टू इज गिवन टू यू एज पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव एंड यू नीड टू फाइंड दिस टी एम अपॉन टी एफ एल एंड एन एम ओके दीज आर द आंसर गिवन टू यू सो फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट राइट डाउन द गिवन डेटा सो गिवन डेटा इज दिस एफ इज फिफ्टी हर्ट पी इज फोर सॉरी एट एस एफ इज पॉइंट जीरो फोर आर टू इज पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन एंड एक्स टू इज पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव नाउ टू फाइंड दिस टू वैल्यूज वी रिक्वायर एन एस एंड एस एम सो वैल्यू ऑफ एन एस इट इज गिवन एज वन ट्वेंटी एफ बाई पी सब्सटीट्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ एफ एंड पी यू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन एस एस सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी आर पी एम एंड वैल्यू ऑफ एस एम वी कैन फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम आर टू एंड एक्स टू बाई टेकिंग द रेशियो सो वैल्यू ऑफ एस एम इट इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन डिवाइडेड बाई पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव सो दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू ओके एंड नाउ ओनली टू क्वांटिटीज आर स्टू टी एम अपॉन टी एफ एल विच इज इक्वल टू एस एम स्क्वायर प्लस एस एफ स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई टू एस एम एस एफ ओके सब्सटीट्यूट वी नो वैल्यू ऑफ एस एम एस पॉइंट टू एंड एस एफ एस पॉइंट जीरो फोर सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज पॉइंट टू स्क्वायर प्लस पॉइंट जीरो फोर स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई टू इंटू पॉइंट टू इंटू पॉइंट जीरो फोर सो आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस यू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एज टू पॉइंट सिक्स एंड एज इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ टू टॉर्क देर वोट बी एनी यूनिट एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड एन एम सो एन एम इज इक्वल टू एन एस इन टू ब्रैकेट वन माइनस एस एम वी नो वैल्यू ऑफ एन एस एंड एस एम सब्सटीट्यूटेड एन एस एज सेवन फिफ्टी एंड एस एम एज जीरो पॉइंट टू सो यू गेट दिस आंसर सेवन फिफ्टी इंटू वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू इट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड एज इट इज अ स्पीड इट्स यूनिट इज आर पी एम सो रिवल्यूशन पर मिनिट सो आई होप we have finished off uh, almost all the numericals uh, from this unit um, or uh, it is in the portion which we have uh, calculated and we have seen the theory part okay remaining um, will continue in the next class the remaining theory first will continue and then after finishing off with the theory will um, try to cover the numericals again so let us stop here today's discussion i'll stop